As the name suggests, the moon totally blocks out the sun during a total solar eclipse. But the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, so how is it possible? Well, the sun is 400 times farther away, so it creates the appearance that the moon is the same size in the sky. The moon's shadow will race across the United States at more than 1,500 miles per hour. From Texas to Maine, most cities in its path will enjoy about four minutes of totality. There are two things to look for right before the totality. Bailey's beads. These are light rays from the sun streaming through the valleys along the moon's horizon, and they look like beads. Oh, wow, well, you can see the sunset around the horizon now. Beads, there are the beads, we got the beads. The diamond, there. There I go, in it's totality. Bailey's beads eventually give way to a single bright spot known as the diamond ring, with the ring portion being formed as the corona of the sun begins to appear. When it went dark, I got chills. Just, it, it was, it was, it was an experience. When totality is reached and day turns to night, the temperature can drop 10 degrees or more, and you may even hear crickets. Darkness enveloping you just within a few seconds, and then you look up in the sky, and then you gasp because you see the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in the sky, which is the corona of, of, of the sun. If you get the chance to see it, consider yourself lucky. It's estimated that only about one in 10,000 people will see a total solar eclipse in their lifetime. It was like, wow, just like they said, you have to experience it and be right in the moment. And if you want to be official about it, enjoy an egg cream afterwards, their traditional post-eclipse celebratory drink.